Hello, welcome back to a new vlog. I have not taken, taken? I have not vlogged in a really long time. And actually I have a good reason. I was going to vlog last week and then we ended up selling my lens for my other camera because I wanted to not use the big camera anymore because I just find myself not filming as much because I hate bringing the big camera to school because it doesn't like fit in my backpack. So it's like just a pain to bring it back and forth to school um, and it's just so heavy and I just don't like it. So I went back to a G7X because that's just like a tried and true. So back in my old camera um, and I had to buy a new one but I sold that one then I had to use that money to buy the new one. So that's why I haven't vlogged in a while. So today I was going to show you guys my night routine. Um, I haven't done a night routine video in a really long time. Actually I think I've only ever done one um and it was a long time ago like we had just yeah we had like just moved into our house that we currently live in and now it's so different because i always have a baby and i just my afternoon routine it's just a lot different than it used to be so um i'm still at school right now it is the end of the day it's actually 15 minutes over contract time um I am getting ready to kind of pack up my stuff though and actually I'm packing up and heading out and then I'm going to go home and I will just kind of show you through my night routine. So if you are interested in my night routine as a t distance learning teacher, because I'm currently still doing distance learning, I do come to school every day. Nobody actually comes here. It's just me. I just sit at my computer all day um, or stand at my computer. But if you're interested in that routine with a newborn and everything like that, then just keep watching. So usually when I get home, we go for a walk. Um, if it's not nice weather, then I will do a workout at home. But the last week or so, it's actually been cool enough to go for walks. So we're going to go for a walk around the neighborhood. I also can't say it too loud because Axel wants to come too. But he's not a very good dog on walks. And I can't handle him and the stroller. So he doesn't get to come, <laughs> unfortunately. walk I actually did a little bit of running today um, I don't normally well I shouldn't say I don't always run because it's just it's a lot harder after you have a baby um, it's also really hard to push the stroller um, running because I don't have like a jogging stroller or anything it's something I probably should invest in but um, it's just kind of hard to run with the stroller but anyway so ran a little bit but I forgot the pacifier so she started getting fussy she doesn't really like pacifiers that much um, but every once in a while like she will take it for a little bit and then she'll spit it out but um usually on walks is like a time when she will take it 
and I forgot it. So she's already getting fussy. So feeding her a little bit right now and then we're going to play in her room before I make dinner. And then once I make dinner, or pretty much our night routine kind of starts um, because she goes to bed at 7.15. So it's like five right now maybe. Yeah, five. So gonna feed her and then we'll go play. All right, so we're playing on our Love Every Mat. And actually I just recently got a new box from them of one of their play kits um so they have them from uh zero zero to up through like toddler and it's basically a subscription box um and it comes with like a random amount of goodies um that they are developmentally appropriate for that age group usually like right now they're by two months so there was like a three to four box and there's a five to six box so Eloise is currently just about four months. She's just a couple days shy, but this is the five to six month box. It's called the sensor. I actually got it just a little bit early just because I do like to use this stuff um, even before like she's actually that age because you can do different things with it. So the first thing that was in there was this thing. It like has a little ball in it. You can spin it. I love the noise it makes. I don't know why. Um, and then this is like a little tissue box. There's a bunch of these little tissues in there and they can pull them out. They're actually all connected. But um, this little thing for tummy time, you like set it in front of them. And they can kind of like knock it over. It's like one of those weeble wobble things. Um, and then it also came with these socks. Um, they have like little jingles on them. And then it came with one of these Montessori balls, which she loves. The one that's on the play mat right now she seriously loves these sensory bands so much it'll keep her busy for so long like she was in a bad mood and now look at her <laughs> and then it also always comes with a um, play um, a play guide and this tells you how to use everything and um, just different other ideas too that aren't even like to do with that stuff like it talks about solid foods in this one because that's about the age they start solids and then it actually came with a little book too i just realized i didn't grab that um it's with her other books but it shows right here it's um different like parts of the body and it shows you right here everything that's in it so i will link them down below these are would make such a good gift for um someone having a baby or for yourself We're going to make some dinner and I'm making oh my gosh she's so loud. I'm gonna make some salmon tonight so I will just like quickly show you what I'm gonna make and then we'll do our bath and all that kind of stuff and then put her to sleep so let's get to dinner all right this is what I'm making for dinner it's a balsamic glazed salmon I'm not doing the veggies I'm just doing my own veggies um, but you just do the sauce and then you just pour it over your salmon so we'll see if it's good um this is a new like app i've been using um basically i'm not like they have no idea who i am but basically you um, pick out the meals that you want to make for that week and then it'll put all the ingredients into your cart and then you go through it like links to walmart and then you can do like the walmart pickup or walmart delivery and then it just like automatically like fills it all in for you which is really nice so then it takes all the ingredients you don't have to like manually put everything in which is really cool she also hates laying down um i put her in this like while i'm trying to cook but half the time i typically have to carry her as i'm cooking because she hates laying down as you can see she just like lifts herself up <laughs> hi girl hi baby oh you look so angelic <laughs> Well, I definitely don't get an A plus for presentation, but I think it's gonna taste good. <laughs> All right, so since there wasn't really many dishes and I just kind of cleaned them up as I went, there really was only like the two pans and I'm not gonna clean those right now. Uh, we're gonna go play outside with the dog for a little bit. 
um, because he's bugging even though I'm pretty sure dad played with you like a lot today but um, it's only like 6.05 so we have time before we take a bath yeah you wanna go play with Axie boy? sure that the bath time is literally her favorite thing in the world which she's kind of making a disgusting face right now but she loves bath time so much she goes crazy in here huh is there anything cuter than a baby in a towel so now that we took our well she took a bath I still need to take a shower um I'm gonna warm up her bottle I am still breastfeeding um but I'm actually only pumping because she just didn't want to feed anymore um, normally. So I'm just pumping. So now she just eats the bottle, which is okay. Um, so I'm going to warm up her bottle and then I'm going to feed her and then I'll put her down for bed. She's got her cute little PJs on. I should have done this while her bottle was heating up, but oh, she can't stand up because she's got socks on. <laughs> so cute. Her cheeks are so red because she's teething. She actually already has a tooth. And her other one should be here like literally every morning. I'm like, is it here? And it's not, but yeah. She's gonna eat and then after that I will take a shower and then finally sit on the couch and relax the rest of the evening. We're gonna watch Dancing with the Stars tonight because it came on last night. We usually watch it um, like the next day. So we're gonna watch that and yeah. <laughs> needed to get my makeup off and just like gross <laughs> um i'm going to start up my set up my coffee for the morning and then i think i'm going to make my um little energy balls it's like oatmeal and peanut butter and honey and what's the other thing in it oh chocolate chips um they're super good but i always eat them when i wake up at night to feed her she sleeps through the night like probably half the time and then the rest of the time she wakes up like once and then I usually wake up once to I don't know what is going on with my hair um she or I usually wake up once to pump so if she doesn't wake up then I usually wake up to pump so um I'll usually eat one when I get up in the middle of the night and oatmeal is really good for your milk supply like actual like a real oatmeal so not just like instant oats so I'm gonna watch Dancing with the Stars and we usually go to bed at like um 9 9:30 so it's currently 7:20 and um yeah so i will catch you guys in my next video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys later